How do you establish trust when building relationships? I've learned that it's easier to get, to kind of build rapport, as we call it in, in research terms, um, by both being honest and then also asking a lot of questions of other people. So being honest and then also listening and letting people know that you're there. Um, and I think that that's, that's helped at least in my, my personal relationships, like my relationship with John, um, my boyfriend, now fiance, which is weird to say on a camera. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of, you know, knowing when to, um, to give feedback and input and then also knowing how to listen and how to ask for it, that, that give and take. Is, is really important. Um, it's it, I think it, I think trust means something different depending on the nature of the relationship. So, um, a, you know, an intimate or, inter, or personal relationship is going to be something very different. I think trust is then you know, are you following through? Well, I guess that these are kind of universal trust things. Are you following through on things that you said you were going to do? Um, are you looking out for? Uh, the best interest of others as well as yourself. So it's just a lot of behavioral things that I think um, instill trust. At least that's how I perceive them. That's how I begin to trust people. Yeah. Um, it's not necessarily uh, about agreeing all the mm -hmm. time um, and thinking that, you know, this person's always going to agree with me and therefore I trust them. But it's more that they, I, I can count on them because they've displayed um, consistently a responsible behavior in the past. So that's a really important one when at Frog. And, and I feel really fortunate right now because a lot of our creative leadership that's above me, um, I, I trust them. And mm -hmm. I have that feeling where where I, I know that, that they're thinking about things at a level that, that I would want to think about them in order to make a, an intelligent decision. And mm -hmm. whether their decision is something I agree with or not, it's um, I know that they're coming from a good place and they have more information than I have. Um, one could say the same thing about politics, right? Like you have to, tr if you really trust your politicians, which I don't know if anybody does in, the, the, in this day, it's you trust that they have the information and they're making a good decision. Yeah. Um, and that it's it's based in, in a place that's foundationally maybe the same as you, but not, not, not in a detailed way. And so I think that with my teams, getting each person to trust you and working with each person and making them productive is like a dance, you know, and each person has a little bit of a different formula. Um, to that end, I think that, getting, trying to elicit trust from, from a team of people, um, I've found it challenging, and this is something that I'm always thinking about, whether I should be, like, how much I should be communicating. Some people will trust me if I lay things out and I clearly have a command of the situation, but other people won't trust me because they feel like they'll be, they're will be they being cut off. Or right. So there's this, um, this behavioral aspect on my part where I need to figure out what's the best way to put myself forward as a team leader or as just a, a member of a team mm -hmm. um, because it's not just about the one-on-one -on -one, but it's about the the, the picture that I'm painting yeah. and that's a challenge for me because I do I, I'll default to like okay they need we need logistics right because that's the thing that's the easiest to do when you know when we're in a, a moment of ambiguity which happens all the time when you're designing um, and and sometimes that's not what people need sometimes actually being absent and just removing myself and saying, I'll check in tomorrow morning is, is the best way to elicit trust. So it's, it's complicated. Yeah.